everyone, Juanita here with Heroes Bar and Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to work on some simple subtraction. Are you ready? I am too. Let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, if you have your workbooks in front of you, Godly Learners Grade K Mathematics Workbook, you may turn to page Roman numeral four, very uh, front of the book, to access the morality creed, which we recite at the beginning of every mathematics video lesson. For the sake of getting people born again, if you've never been born again, and if you have, to reenact yourself and your will and everything about yourself to the Lord. So reenactment is just as important. We are going to recite this. If you do not have the Morality Creed, you can go on to HeroSmart.com where you can access the Morality Creed. Otherwise, you can just repeat after me. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in thee. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, great. Well, we are on page 122. That's one, two, two. If you're following along in the workbook, we are going to work through our uh, subtraction because we want to find the differences. Are you ready? We used our number line a couple of weeks ago with, um, if you're following along with the curriculum in order, and we learned how to use the number line to get the solutions to our problems. <laughs> and uh, we're going to use the number line again. Here we go, 10 minus five, we go up to the number line, find the number 10, and we're going to count, oh, count down, count away five. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we have it, 10 minus five is, is five, yeah. That number is five, good job. 13 minus six, so we're going to find 13 on the number line, here's 13, we're going to subtract six, one, two, three, four, five, six. What number does this line land on? It lands on seven. Therefore, 13 minus six is seven. 12 minus eight. We have 12 minus eight. Here's 12. Now we're going to subtract eight. We're going to count down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, good, we found, the, we found the number. What number is it? Four, 12 minus eight is four. 15 minus five, what is 15 minus five? Here's 15. We're going to take away five. One, two, three, four, five. What number does this line land on? 10, good job. So the number there is 10. 11 minus three, let's find 11 on the number line. There you are. Now we're going to subtract three. One, two, three. What number does this land on? It lands on the number eight. Good job, it lands on eight. And finally, we have 16 minus seven. So we're going to find 16 on the number line and then we're going to subtract seven. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. What number does this line land on? It lands on the nine. Good. So 16 minus seven is nine. Did you get that? I know you did. Good job. Well, thank you for coming to class today. That's all I have for you today. Until next time, God bless.
I'll be your hero's body And as you study with heroes born I will be your friend